Good luck to the fighter. And presented from master to student, to say that you are his fighter, and it's the highest accolade you can attain when you receive the Moncom from your master. So we've got Ronnie Green there from England, in the blue, and Joe Vieira in the red. And we're into the first round. Ronnie Green in the blue, long full contact trousers. And Vieira in the red and yellow tie shorts. And so no, Ronnie Green is mainly known for his tie boxing fights, where he's a tie boxing world champion. And he also fights these rules, which is the full contact WK kickboxing fights. And we're going up with some good boxing here. A free warning running there, I think, for just a little bit of holding. These two fighters have fought before under tie rules, and runner came out on tops. And now they're fighting under WK kickboxing rules, so we'll see what the outcome will be here. Well, fighters fighting in the, about the 10 stone division here, 63 kilos. with a lot of fights to his record. About 90, I would say 99% of those have been wins. <laughs> Bit of a slip there from Vieira, wasn't the knockdown. Three, not to give him a count. But Ron is straight back in. <laughs> the referee there. <laughs> the free warning. Ron is there for stepping in too quickly when the fight is broke. Good high round this kick from Ron in the southpaw stance and Ronnie's got the ability to mix the style from left to right guarding change at any given time so he can confuse his opponent the unusual tie shorts there of Vieira split right up the side obviously for maximum uh, freedom <laughs> Send him there, take him, how the ties do. I'm going to go break dancing. That's one of his expertise there in boxing. We've seen the slow mo. Nice jab. It's caught Vieira off guard. And into the second round. See that Joe Vieira is obviously coming out and starts the fight on Ronnie, but Ronnie showing who is the champion. <laughs> and Ronnie, Ronnie going there, showing a very clean cut, high round days kick there, which passes over, whistles over the head of Vieira. Ronnie just playing with his opponent here, just dropping his guard and teasing his opponent, trying to wind him up. Vieira looking very serious. Into the clinch. Oh. And the referee this time, Ronnie Vieira. Ronnie acknowledging it, carrying straight on into the fight. Oh, it's a stagger. Yeah, Ronnie must have caught him on the chin and he's going in for the kill. Left and right, yes, and it's a knockdown. The referee not giving him a standing count, as he should be doing. Ronnie straight back into him. Kicks, punches, grabbing hold of Ronnie's legs, just grabbing hold of anything, just to hold on. A good start to this second round. Ronnie's sinking those leg kicks in there to Vieira. I don't think Vieira's fully recovered yet. Rocking slightly, but he's managing to fire back with his own arsenal of weapons. And Ronnie again, a beautiful left hand there to the chin of Vieira. And he feels that sink straight down to his boots. He must have rocked him good style with that. And again. And um, you see Vieira right on the bell rope, sinks into his chair. He's very lucky in that time. He was in the corner as the bell went. And you see that left hand there, Ronnie's. And again. 
finding its mark, sending Vieira down to the floor, showing who is the champion in this game. And third round, Vieira yeah, having a chance there, a minute to recover. Seconds in the corner, working furiously to get him back. Nice punch there to Ronnie, he just smiles, acknowledges it and carries on. Nice low point here, you see Ronnie switch back down to orthodox guard. Sign of a good fighter when they can switch style there from left and right. You can see there, Ronnie making full use of the ring, moving around, using his footwork. Yeah, they're getting aggressive here now, coming forward, attacking. Ronnie but firing back, good defensive movements, leaning back out of range of Vieira, making him miss. Again, very good sign of a good fighter. They can make the opponent miss, make them look stupid. Vieira's not stupid, he's a good fighter. Combination again, Vieira, hand and leg movements. Or fighter looking for the mark. Still weighing each other up. It's every day as yet. I mean, this is 12 rounds, 12 two minute rounds, World Championship kickboxing. And the WK rules, as well as the Association rules, which allows the low kick in the full contact kickboxing. And like some stars of kickboxing, they only call full contact karate, they don't allow any kicks below the waist at all. Good low kick from Ronnie, but with the front kick from Vieira, just sends him off balance but he's okay, back on his feet, no problem, and end of the round. You see a good body shot, two good body shots there from Vieira, and Ronnie answers with his own good low point, right low point kick, and again Vieira working on Ronnie's body there. It's good to see the fighters can also bring it down as well as up, not just head hunting all the time. And again, very fast and furious start to the round, round four. His guards are well up, as you can see, this round. Doesn't want to get caught with any more punches. Obviously, the second round when Ronnie caught uh, Vieira. Sent him rocking. And you can see again, switching his guard left and right all the time. Trying to confuse Vieira, trying to work smart him. Two left punches from Vieira, jab and hoot. Nice little combination. Out of range again. Ronnie making just slipping his punches or leaning back away from them. Very skillful. Both fighters just feeling each other out with jabs. Trying to get the distance to a follow up either with a right punch or a right low kick. So he's just trading jabs here at the moment, both fighters, and smiling Ronnie's again. He's just taunting his opponent. Oh, and a slip there. <laughs> Ronnie shakes his hand and laughs. And Vieira just it went too high when he leant back. And uh, adversely, Vieira slipped. No problems to the fighting. He's straight back in, into this action-packed World Championship fight. So Ronnie Green there in the blue, blue full contact trousers, and Joe Vieira in the red and yellow tie shorts. Vieira from Holland, which is hosting these fights, and Ronnie Green from Great Britain. Fifth round. Knee block, tie style block there by Ronnie, and the body shot of Vieira. Again, that high kick there from Vieira. Quite a flexible guy, reaching for Ronnie's head, looking for a knockout kick. We saw him earlier on tonight. We saw Tommy Vandenberg knockout Saito with a classic high roundhouse kick. It just shows if you drop your guard at the wrong time, 
bang, the rounders kick will go in. So are we going to see another knockout tonight? Or are we going to see another points decision? This is fast action from these two fighters. Super lightweight division here. Ronnie's always well known for his combinations. He can put hand and leg together in this game, in any of this tie boxing or kickboxing full contact game. It is absolutely the name of the game. You've got to get your hands and legs working together in combinations. And Ronnie's one, probably one of the best guys around to show you this at its best. Good body, good body kick by Vieira. Many points in the person's head, body, legs that you can kick to. You can hit into your opponent's arms to bring his guard down so you can knock him out with the boxing. That's what some of these fighters are trying to do to show that they don't have to just kick to the head all the time or kick to the legs. Try into the midsection or to the arms and weaken the opponent, wear him and tear him down. There he goes again, a high kick, missed, spin round, high kick again. And all this partisan crowd here, Dutch crowd, all looking very eager there. At the end of that round to see who is going to win this world championship bout. Referee to make sure all the seconds are away. And we're now coming up to the halfway stage of this battle between these two well-seasoned fighters. shot with the round edge kick then down to the leg varying left and right no point just having one good leg in this game you've got to have two to show and adapt to be able to kick with both legs use both hands total mastery of your body good left high leading leg shot very similar to what you would use as jab in the boxing Powerful kick, but it's enough to stun or to disorientate your opponent. I'll set him up for something more stronger. I'm not sure that's not what we're just making for the air, just absolutely useless with the kicks. Ronis just dances around him and just makes Vieira look like a beginner. As we know, Vieira is very competent. And he comes straight back at Ronnie, obviously. And being a good fighter, he won't get frustrated like some. Uh, beginner fighters would do. You see some beginner fights, they tend to just go all out. And then if you miss, they get frustrated, get more angry, and then you just mess up the technique. You see these guys, two tough men, experienced fighters. And the referee not had much work to do in this fight, and luckily, uh, both fighters fighting very clean cut. Which makes the referee's job a lot easier. Referee doing his own footwork there to try and go the way of Ronnie as he hits and moves, hits and moves all the time, just pounding him with that jab. And again, making Vieira miss. It's the essence again. And the end of the round. Six rounds there. And I think a drink would be in a hand for these fighters. They took a bit of a glass of water between rounds. There's a lot of sweating going on in there. And we're just into the halfway stage. We're into the seventh round. Where the fighters are well warmed up. You can see good guarding from both fighters now. I don't want to give anything away. It's one small mistake could cost them the fight. Ronnie's still on his toes, dancing around Vieira. Vieira just stalking Ronnie everywhere he moves. Ronnie moves into this dazzling with his footwork and just step away each time. And again, straight with the combination, Ronnie, two, three headshots, back down to the leg again with a low kick. Got stinging jabs from Ronnie. Nice high kick, Ronnie. Still again, not much power in that front leg kick. 
Oh, it's accumulating the points. And beautiful spin kick there, and Ronnie just luckily just ducked underneath that kick. And those kicks are very dangerous if they connect, because once you start to spin around and do a spinning kick, a spinning hook kick, there's not much chance of stopping it once they're in flight. You've got full goal with one of those kicks, if you connect with the head. Talking lights out for some of the fighters. And see Vieira. Again, going for that high point kick, but out of target, out of reach. It's a powerful kick too. And that left high kick of Ronnie, he's slipping his punches. And the ropes of referee will break the fighters. And the end of the round. Here's that jab again from the high kick of Vieira. And that spin hook kick I was telling you about. There's the one. And Ronnie replies with his own kick. It's a beautiful spinning hook kick. So Ronnie was very quick, managed to get away. And now, coming into the eighth round, all fighters will now start to use the many hours spent in the gym, looking out, sparring with the trainers and the fellow students in the gym, just to see now okay, who's got the most stamina. Because at the end of this fight, when you, especially if you go the distance 12 rounds, dragging every single bit of energy reserve you've got <laughs> and this decides whether okay, or which fighters put most work in the gym as I say or road work a lot of these fighters get the stamina from skipping shadow boxing continuously pounding away on the bags Yeah, and yeah, as I said, that the spinning hook kick connects with the side of Ronnie's neck, but not enough power to do damage. Ronnie just walked through it. A good kick all the same. And the kicking obviously scores more than the boxing because hands obviously a lot easier to use than kicks, and the kicks score good points in this game. And with this, in this rules of kickboxing, there's got to be so many kicks thrown as well per round. So the fighters are eager to get the kicks in, and then they can box as much as they like. Well, these two are just trying to mix it all the time, get hands and legs going throughout the whole of the fight. Back to the boxing again. And you see the jab from Vieira. And only counting with a good, smart left high kick. See there. Second, trying to get too much into the ring, get involved. And Master Toddy there is second in trainer. There's one in there. Obviously, when you get into the corner, the trainers and seconds will work furiously to try and get the fighter fully recovered. Here we have our ring girl, show what round. Round nine. It's a very exciting World Championship fight. I think on my card I've got Ronnie, Ronnie Green from Great Britain ahead. But let's just see what these judges make of this if it goes the distance. Sibylin Vieira took some heavy onslaught and oh, beautiful right rounders kick to the chin of Vieira. Took it square on the face, carried on. And oh, and another right high kick. Ronnie's pounding in. Beautiful. He takes a bit of a slip, but he's straight into it. It's not a knockdown. Jab, body punch, back up. There's the body kick from the area. And another body kick. Not even with a low point, grabbing his opponent. Tells him to continue, get into a clinch, he just separates them and off they go again. But like I say, it's been a clean cut fight, these two fighters. Not been any mauling or clinching. And again, Ronnie using his extreme good use of the footwork to make Vieira miss. You 
saying in the second round when Vieira took those uh, headshots, he's completely recovered and he's come fighting back. Ronnie, very good on his feet, as to avoid a lot of techniques from Vieira. And here we go with the combination boxing. Again, the combinations of hands and legs, both looking at each fighter and the end of the round. Very close round for both fighters there. To uh, Vieira. Drops his guard, takes the high kick. And now comes the later part of this fight into round 10. See what sort of stamina these two fighters have got now. And can last them right the way through to the 12th final round. The action has just never stopped. From round one to this round, round ten, these two fighters have just piled the pressure on. It just shows the fitness of these two. Piling on the pressure, non-stop. One goes, then the other attacks. Just relentless action. Good boxing from these two fighters. Slipping, dodging, weaving, and then throwing some good combinations back in. Here is quite good with boxing himself, but uh, his kicking, even though it is quite powerful, tends to miss its mark. And Ronnie's very good at making him miss as well. Nice jab from Ronnie. All the time he's managing to hit and then move, hit and then move. He's obviously scoring the points. Vieira misses, he's just not making any points. Should reflect on the judges scoring. If you've seen the fight, the way it should be read. As you can see that every time Vieira kicks, Ronnie just makes him miss and straight back in with his own counter. Dancing round, and there we go, the end of the round. Ten rounds of action packed World Championship kickboxing into the 11th round. This is where they're going to test the reserves, energy, stamina, and got some real power to win this fight. And that was only a slip. The three won't count him at all, and back into the action. Nice stepping punch from Ronnie. Switching guards. All the time, the air is stalking Ronnie. Ronnie manages to get out every time, just slipping in and rolling underneath his attacks, coming out and then defending with his own combination techniques. all the time, Vieira, when he jabs Ronnie's country with a good either body kick or head kick. And again, there you see it, that nice left kick from Ronnie. Good low point kick from Vieira. And he takes it on the shin, but forces him back with the strength of the kick. End of this round. Trying to, try to impress the judges by finishing strong. There's not much between these two fighters now. It's a very, very, very close fought contest. by both fighters, left hook, returned by left hook by Ronnie. Nice 
and the end of round 11. But both fighters are glad to see them. Stools in the corner so they can take the last minute of rest for the final, the 12th final round. There's that low kick that we saw earlier on. Just going to take one off his feet. Very powerful low kick. And this is it. The 12th and final round. This is where the energy these two fighters have got. I just don't know where they've got it from. They're just both non-stop action from round 1 to round 12. Everything goes, kicks, punches. There's nothing more these two fighters can do. Very sharp. Considering we've just fought 11 hard, grueling rounds, both these fighters look like they've just got in for the first round. And his left feet were blocked on the arm by Ronnie. Both fighters still on the toes and bouncing around the ring. Very good level of kickboxing between these two fighters, very evenly matched. As I mentioned, a very clean cut affair as well. Both fighters not doing any fouling strikes or clinching or mauling each other to make it into a sloppy fight. They've both kept it clean, clean cut, and very, very exciting for the crowd here tonight. And the crowd have loved every single minute of this fight. Aggressive action again there by Ronnie, sidestepping away, zigzagging movements. Beautiful shot, little combinations. Another hand swinging hoops there from Vieira, desperately trying to knock Ronnie out. Not long to go now, final seconds in this last round, this 12th and final round. Who's going to take this world title fight? Is it going to be Ronnie Green? Is it going to be Vieira? And the end of round 12. Vieira confidently throws his hands into the air, but Ronnie also believes he's got it. Crowd are absolutely loving it. They're on the feet, recognizing what a fantastic fight. And it's left to the judges. What a fantastic fight. The shame has got to be a loser in this. Nothing to see. And Ronnie Green's got it from Great Britain. Ronnie Green. Yes, I think because the work he did earlier on with his standing eight counts, I think he's probably just got in the edge. And he's taken once again the world. WK, kickboxing title, the super lightweight division. And he's absolutely over the moon. Yeah, unfortunately, disappointed, which he would be. And one of the best fights of his life. And, uh, but I think, again, another rematch perhaps in the future because these two fighters are very, very close. Receive your trophy from Mr. Toshiro Kaniga. Receiving the winner's trophy. Next. Presented with the World Championship belt.